fingers. So I guess with most things, you know, you have a half a dozen people who are really passionate. And so we're having a celebration right now with the people who've really worked the hardest on our turtle campaign, which has been a total joy and a total surprise that it has been just so successful. I mean, who would have thought that we would co uh, cover 110 nests? I mean, we're just blown away by the numbers. I think the idea is to put them along the wall so that people can sit on them and look for some of the turtles hatching since there are over 100 nests in this area and presumably some of the turtles will successfully hatch over the next few months. So I think that's... Yeah, I think during the uh, latter part of August and beginning of September to mid-September, there's a good chance. see a lot. And there's a good chance that you would see them if you're yeah. sitting watching quietly. They come yes. up quite quickly and so probably for over a half hour they would be in a good size area like this so that with the number of people that are around here we should be seeing them. Mm -hmm. Once Hold one on person you. sees one, mm -hmm. we're a little competitive. <laughs> <laughs> How are <Right>. we now? <laughs> well and just that many nests, like you gather data already that's I think kind of invaluable, right? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Just knowing yeah. yeah, knowing more about turtle habitat and 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 how valuable this, we all knew this was valuable to the turtles, but actually having the data is... It makes a yeah. difference, doesn't it? So. It's so funny, everybody, even people who I know didn't go out with you, but everybody's always telling me whether or not they saw a turtle down here now. <laughs> yeah. Every time I run into somebody and they've been down here, they're like, I saw a turtle, or I saw three turtles, or I saw five turtles, or I saw, oh, I don't see any turtles yeah. today. You know? And they're like, damn, I forgot my camera. I should have taken a picture and sent it to me. Right? <laughs> like, everybody's gotten really excited. Even people who I didn't know knew anything about turtles in this park. Like, oh, I went down there and I saw a turtle. So we're just getting at it. I think it's really yeah. cool. You know how they sent us those data sheets later? That's right. And I don't think most people really use them. No, no, they didn't. That's right. Um, but I think next year that would be a good thing to do is to get be a more, little formal more formalized. With that. Yeah. And then we can enter the data. And, and I send think it. it's important too because that those data sheets had had weather. Yes. And so it is important because it does seem as though you know the turtles really know when there's been a big rain and when it's warm the next day and then that's a good time to yeah. work. And the, they would be those sheets were for basking turtles and stuff as well, not yes, just that's not right. just laying. Mm -hmm. And it kind of provides I just like from my experience in that field, like it, it's it's like here's your proof almost. Even yeah. if, you know, that I have it written down on this day, at this time, at this place, and under these conditions, I saw a turtle. Yeah. Um, so it's like, you know, and then it's not relying on the teeny's memory either. Oh, we saw how many turtles? I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That's right. So I think it's that's all recorded. But I think it's a really good start. Get the enthusiasm, yeah, get it all up. and Couldn't then. really have done better for no, the first year. I, I mean... Especially because it was a little bit of a scramble at the beginning with the talk to the city and that thingy and whatever but right but yeah I think next year yeah. next year will yeah. be quite systematic and, yeah, and a lot of people in Kingston have never been to this park and people who haven't been to this park sort of say well it's just like breakwater park you know why not have a road go through it and those of us who love this park passionately say this is not breakwater park I mean, you do not have 110 turtles laying eggs in Breakwater Park. You do not have snakes in Breakwater Park. You do not have all the wildlife that is here, the ducks and the geese and the, um, yeah, the muskrats and the odd mink and the otters and the carp and, you know, all the fish. I mean, it's a, it's a wonder. It's a wondrous place, and it's, it's, we're so fortunate in the middle of actually a downtown to have what really could be considered a nature reserve. And we don't want the road going through this, because what a destructive thing. <laughs> so there we are. <laughs>